good day. Kindly follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. In this video for grade 7 mathematics, we will talk about the types of statistical graphs. We have the bar graph, line graph, pictograph, and the circle graph. So, ano nga ba kapag sinabing graph? It is a pictorial representation or a diagram that represents data or values in an organized manner. So, sa halip na ilista lamang ang mga given data or mga given numbers, ginagamitan ito ng graph para mas organized or mas maganda tingnan ang given data. So, pwede itong i-represent gamit ang ganitong uri ng graph. So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong mga um, drawing ng boxes. So, gumamit tayo ng mga pictures sa pagre-represent ng number of red boxes sold or yung mga nabenta ng na red boxes sa bawat araw. Second example or another example is this um, type of graph. So, kung mapapansin nyo, nakabar yung mga given data. So, wherein ang given bar na ito ay nagre-represent sa weight or pounds and sa number of cats. And then, another is this one. So, kung mapapansin nyo, marami tong mga linya. So, ito ay halimbawa rin ng graph. So, unang type ng graph is yung bar graph or tinatawag din ito na histogram. It represents data using vertical or horizontal bars, makes it easier to visualize the comparison in the occurrence of one data from another. So, from the word itself, bar graph, so ang graph ay ginagamita ng mga bars or yung mga rectangles. So, katulad nito, so ito ay halimbawa ng bar graph and also this one. Second type of graph is the line graph from the word itself, line. It is used to represent changes in data over a period of time. It illustrates that a particular trend is increasing or tumataas, decreasing or bumababa or static over a period of time where data is first represented by points and then segments are, join, are drawn to join the points. So, ito yung mga halimbawa ng line graph. So, kapag magpa-construct or magdo-drawing ng line graph, unang gagawin is i-plot yung mga points. So, halimbawa sa 62, iyon yung grades or yung grade. And then, yung percent ng, ng klase na nakakuha ng grade na 62, halimbawa sa lalaki, which is yung blue, is halimbawa na sa 6%. So, nag-plot muna ng points and then siya kakinonect gamit ang lines. So, ganun din dito. Sa date of symptom onset, so number of cases, ito yung 1 to 6. And then, yung date, ito yung um, August 24, August 25, and so on. So, nag-plot muna ng points, saka nag-connect ng lines. Ang pangatlong type ng graph ay yung tinatawag nating pictograph. It represents data through pictures having specific value. It can be easily understood and more interesting and appealing in displaying collected data. So, minsan kinagamit ang uh, pictograph, gamit ang mga pictures para mas interesting at mas um, appealing ang pagdi-display ng mga nakolektang data. Pero dapat yung mga value natin ay specific or meron tayong fixed number. So, katulad dito, favorite pi uh, pizza toppings na kung saan ang isang slice ng pizza ay katumbas daw ng 5 pizzas. So, ang may gusto ng toppings na cheese ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 times 5 is 25. And then, ang may gusto naman ng pepperoni ay yung may sli uh, 6 slices. So, 6 times 5 is five, uh, 30 pizzas. Okay, so another is this one, the blood type and the number of people na kung saan ang isang patak ng dugo ay katumbas ng limang tao. So, ang may blood type A daw ay 2, 4, 6, so 6 times 5 is 30 people or 30 persons. And then, ang may type AB naman ay dalawa lamang, so 2 times 5 is 10. So, kung mapapansin nyo, gumamit ng mga pictures para i-represent ang data. So, ito ay mga halimbawa ng pictograph. Last type of graph is the circle graph or tinatawag din na pie chart. It represents data using sectors of a circle. It is best used 
when showing relationship of a specific data to the whole. So, ginagamit, ginagamit ang circle graph or pie chart kapag um, meron tayong um, percentage or percent na kung saan ang isang bilog ay katumbas ng 360 degrees or katumbas ang percent na ito into whole or 100%. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung color orange, ito yung may pinakamalaking part sa ating circle graph or pie chart na binubuo or katumbas ng 27%. And then, meron tayong mga given legend. So, ang orange dito ay yung comedy. So, favorite movie genre in Mrs. Smith's um, film class. So, mas malaki ang percent na may gusto ng comedy kesa dito sa mga 8%. So, 8%. So, this is um, light violet. So, foreign. And then, the dark blue. Uh, sorry, the blue. Since ito yung dark blue. So, yung blue ay 8%. So, that is the science fiction. Another um, example of circle graph or pie chart is this one. So, again, ang, percent na, uh, ang mga percent na ito ay equals 100%. And then, yung color blue natin, that is for the health. In which domains do happy people enjoy sufficiency? And then, itong 10% naman ay sa time use. So, let us now have the examples. We have to answer the following questions using this given graph. So, anong uri ng graph na ito? So, since meron tayong mga given bars or rectangles, ito ay halimbawa ng bar graph. So, first question, what information is given by the bar graph or also called as the histogram above or at the right? So, meron tayong given date, uh, title, comparing simple literary rates between males and females. So, yun yung ating information sa given bar graph. Second question, in which year was the simple literacy rate for females, the lowest and the highest. So, sa female daw, since meron tayong legend, so ang pula ay para sa female. So, anong taon daw yung may pinakamababa at pinakamataas? So, the lowest is 2003. Ito yon, na meron lamang 90.4%. And the highest is 2008 na merong 96.1%. Third question, in which year was the simple literacy rate for males the lowest and the highest? So, ang lowest ng male is 2003 also, na kung saan meron siyang percent na 86.8. And then, ang highest ay um, 2008, which is 95.1%. Fourth question, without knowing the quantity each data represent, is it easy to compare the simple literacy rates of males and females? So that is yes. So kung walang nakalagay dito ng mga percentage, madali lang din malalaman kung ano yung may pinakamababa at pinakamataas by just looking on the given bars. Number five, what kind of data can be presented using a bar graph? The answer is the data that can be compared. So, lahat ng data na pwedeng ikumpara or ikumpare sa isa't isa, pwede itong gamitan ng bar graph. Sixth question, express the data shown in the, in the graph in, tab, uh, in table 4 or tabular form. So, in our given data, pwede natin itong itabular form gamit nito. So, meron tayong given title, literacy rate, and then sa so first column is yung year, second is male, and the uh, Third is female. So, sa year na 1989, so ito yon, ang percent ng literacy rate ng male is 93.2 and then sa female naman is 94%. And then sa 1994, so ganito lamang ililista lang natin yung given data. Okay, so iyan yung tinatawag na table form or tabular form. Second example, again, we have to answer the following questions using this given graph. So, since merong given na mga pictures na kung saan ang isang uh, picture or drawing ng gift ay katumbas ng dalawang gifts. Okay, so ito ay halimbawa ng pictograph dahil gumamit ng mga pictures para i-represent ang number of gifts. Okay, number one example uh, question, what information is given by the pictograph of, uh, at the right? 
So the answer is Christmas gifts of four children since meron tayong apat na children na binigyan ng mga regalo. Second question, who got the greatest number of gifts? And who got the least? So, ang may pinakamaraming nakuhang regalo ay si Gloria, na kung saan nakakuha siya ng 2, 4, 6. So, 6 times 2 is 12 gifts. And then, ang may pinakakaunti namang nakuhang regalo ay si Andrew. So, since meron lamang dalawang picture ng gift, so 2 times 2 is 4. Third question, who got more gifts? Jessica or Stephen? So, sino daw ang may mas maraming nakuhang gifts? Si Jessica ba or si Steven? Okay, so Steven ay meron lamang tatlong pictures or tatlong drawings at si, Steve, uh, si Jessica naman ay may apat. So, ang nakakuha ng mas maraming gifts ay si Jessica. Fourth question, without knowing the quantity each data represent, is it easy to identify who got the most or least number of gifts? So, that is yes. So, kung walang nakalagay dito na equivalent ng isang picture, malalaman natin na ang may pinakamaraming nakuhang gift ay si Gloria by just looking on the number of drawings. Fifth question, what kind of data can be presented using a pictograph? The answer, the data that can be represent with, represented with pictures of specific value. Last question, express the data shown in the graph in table 4. So, maglalagay lang tayo ng dalawang column since meron tayong dalawang column para sa name. At isang column naman o yung pangalawang column ay sa number of gifts. Okay, and then the title is Christmas Gifts. Okay, si Steven ay nakakuha ng anim since meron siyang tatlong drawing so 3 times 2 is 6. Gloria is 12, Andrew got 4, and Jessica got 8. So let us now summarize what we have learned about this lesson. Graph is a pictorial representation or a diagram that represents data or values in an organized manner. There are types of statistical graphs. First is the bar graph or also called as the histogram. It represents data using vertical or horizontal, horizontal bars. Next is the line graph. Data is first represented by points and then segments are drawn to join the points. Third is the pictograph. It represents data through pictures having specific value. And the last is the circle graph or the pie chart. It represents data using sectors of circle. Sana ay nakatulong ang video na ito sa inyong lesson. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all!